up guys, it's Mac, your friendly neighborhood collector. Back at you with another statue unboxing and review. Today we have the Sideshow Collectibles Rogue Maquette Exclusive Edition. Right now I gotta tell you, this box is looking kind of beat up. Um, this act, this hole here goes all the way through to, through to the, um, the art box. So hopefully everything is okay on the inside. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what we got. out um, everything is looking pretty good besides the big old hole in the front uh, the X logo on the back different variations of colors looks pretty cool sides are pretty cool I like how they got uh, this little uh, 3d effect on the uh, box as well I don't like this 3d effect though that's real and it looks like somebody may have been playing a little bit of kickboxing with this rogue statue or something but hopefully um, that's uh, not gonna result into a damaged piece so let's go ahead and get on to the next part so we got the styrofoam out of the shipper and uh, or the outer box so the damage looks like it uh where they uh throw an old robe around is right here so looks like uh we're gonna be okay and uh we'll see what happens on the inside so as usual let's go ahead and cut this open a little bit of knife action top up get it smelling like china one of the best quotes ever shout out to my boy mike lee also known as cartel from hell we got body base the head sculpt and the ex head sculpt up here so let's go ahead and pull this base out looking pretty dope so far intricate part of the base where she holds her or she uh, keys into that's actually real metal wasn't expecting that so I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out and get it laid out on the table We have our two head sculpts, one being the exclusive and the regular. We have the uh, left hand, the body, the base, and then the saw portion of the base that extends, of course, out. And then you have these little uh, screws or bolts that uh, hold, uh, they don't hold anything down, they're just there for accents, I believe. So there's nowhere on here where they screw in, of course. So I think they're there just for look. So um, let's go ahead and start assembling this. So first we have, um, I believe this does not come with instructions and I've been avoiding watching any reviews on this, trying to, uh, you know, kind of get my own take on this and not spoil it for myself. So uh, we're going at this raw. So we have the uh, peg and uh, it basically slots down in here. So you have a uh, key. Portion is in. All right. Next up, I believe, are these uh, little screws or bolts. I keep calling them screws. 
So um, I believe that since there's literally these small ones, I'm just gonna follow it. Like the smaller ones should go right here. One there like so. Like that. And we'll just follow it all the way around the base. So looking like she's got, went in and tore this thing off out of the ground or the danger room where I believe this is played out like so and next um, you have a key here and that's where the body goes with the uh, right hand Next we'll go with the left hand. And then you have the head sculpts to crown this piece off. You have the regular and the exclusive. So let's see. Uh, Go with the exclusive. Exclusive all day is how we do. Pull in a little bit, make sure hair's not resting on the jacket there. But yeah, this rogue is uh fully assembled. Pretty good. Go ahead and switch out the exclusive with the regular. Very good looking piece. Both head sculpts. very good in my opinion so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a few minutes like I normally do and go over this piece and come back with a review for you guys taken my good old time and taking a look at this and come back with a overall number rating for this piece and uh, I think this piece is phenomenal. Uh, Sideshow did a really good job uh, with this piece. Uh, I was on the fence after uh, I pre-ordered this uh, when it came up and was about to cancel it but I'm glad I didn't. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into uh, the review part. Um, the base on this is done very well. The colors on it it's got like this uh, greenish, silverish kind of shiny, shimmery uh, detail going throughout it. I'm really digging the blue that's coming through uh, the bottom of the base. Like I said, I believe this is the uh, danger room. This is done very well. I like uh, how they have the little bolts that are coming out of the ground uh, that are actually in the bottom of this uh, saw. The detail even on the actual uh, bolts themselves, they actually went through and added like a little bit of kind of like damage and rust detail on them. They're all bent up and everything. I think that's a really nice uh, detail. I know I just dropped one there, but I think they're plastic or I'm not sure exactly what they are, but you can see on this one, it has a little bit more kind of a rust, rusty kind of type detail to it, which is pretty cool. So yeah, these aren't heavy, of course. You can drop them, they're not gonna break, hopefully. But uh, going upwards um, to where the saw is coming out, you, know, you have this piece here, which is actually 
got this effect where it's pulling up and coming out. I think that's done awesome. Very nice, um, very nice shading and texture going throughout. You can also see the little uh, rust kind of detail on the um, metal parts up here. It's all wrinkled up, just showing off road power. Um, in here, you have the, the inner workings of the uh, saw. They even went through and detailed all that. These little braided lines uh, look fantastic. They're not actual braided lines, but they look very real. And these uh, actual wires um, are real. So they have their little red, green, and uh, yellow wires uh, with their little copper. So that's a nice little touch, how they added that to it. Um, colors are nice on there as well. And you have just this, all just like this damaged effect that's going all the way up this saw and it's looking really, really good. Um, also, you have the well, some more wires here. You can pose these if you like. These are not going to break. These are real wires, which are, like I said, a very nice touch to this piece. Going upwards, you have, of course, the saw and this saw is actually metal. So um, I know that uh, in the um, one of the shows or one of the cons that they had, uh, I think this prototype piece broke uh, from where her hand inserts into uh, where the saw is. So I believe they kind of reinforced this to make sure that this wasn't gonna go anywhere, which uh, I don't believe it is. Um, I think they engineered this piece very well. Um, now onto her body. Uh, going through I really like the detail on the back of her foot and how you can see the tread on their uh, back of the shoe or her boot the actual sculpt and uh, work uh, leather working of the actual outfit looks very real uh, this is not real of course it does have a very nice texture feel to it like it does feel like actual leather it's got like really nice uh, dirt and scuff detail going throughout. Well, it's not really scuffed, but it's definitely got some dirt uh, that is caked in between the crevices there, uh, which is looking really good. Um, little wrinkles, of course, going up through here, which is looking very nice. Um, upwards up to the costume, you have the uh, different texture here as well, which is uh, painted nicely. And all right, guys, I had to cut away from the video for a minute. I'm going to keep it real. I had a little freak out moment. If you saw in the last part of that video, the actual body kind of dropped and actually dropped into its uh, place here. Um, I thought that the hand was fully seated into where it uh, keys into, but it was not where it is now. So be very careful when you put this in and you think it's in, it may not be in all the way. I was just trying to make sure that this was seated in as much as possible and uh, it kind of just put itself into place. So be wary of that. Um, make sure you take your time looking at this piece, especially the hand uh, when going in and uh, you know put inserting it into the uh, saw area there. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on uh, with this review here. So back to the sides of her body, uh, you have the uh, little rough texturing here it goes smooth and then the texturing going all the way up through the like the jacket area that's hidden um all here up to the side and all the way up here which is done very nice and then you have that transitioning onto the other side as well so you've got her that kind of twisted and it's molded and sculpted sculpted very well um going upwards throughout here so that looks very good the jacket is one of my favorite uh, pieces uh, or aspects about this uh, uh, piece here. It's real leather. Um, it's got all the little details throughout. You've got you know little uh, buttons and uh, little uh, pockets. Um, now, not a real pocket, but it's got the you know little details like it is. And then you have the X Men logo here on the. Uh, on the arm or on the sleeve here and you have these little straps which are done very nice so I'm really digging this uh, mixed media portion of this uh, statue the belt um, is also 
like a mixed media. It's like more rubberized, so but uh, it's not like it's not leather, but it's definitely kind of like a rubber type material. Um, maybe PVC, but I'm not 100% sure. It does move around a little, a little bit, but it's definitely um, you know glued in or stuck in here. I'm not gonna play around with it to try to show you guys that hole because then I'll end up breaking it or something. But onto the um, our upper portion of her uh, torso. Uh, you have the X-Men logo here, and then you have her uh, top part of the costume, which is painted well. I don't see uh, any, any flaws. The paint lines are looking good. I don't see any over-painted lines, so I think uh, this piece uh, came out pretty good. Um, the paint lines all throughout it are, are good. I'm looking on the back, on her backside there, on her cakes cakes don't stick out too much <laughs> but uh, it's very nice um, I'm digging the texture um, and uh, whole execution and look of this piece regular head looks very nice I'm digging the eyes um, the eyes and the lips are done very well um, very nice expression on her face doesn't look funny um, doesn't look cartoonish and uh, looks quite quite real in my opinion so We'll go ahead and spin it around here for you. I'm digging the effects of her hair. Also, this uh, hair piece here is, I believe, PVC. Part of it maybe is. Um, it does move around, so be very careful. It doesn't have the same solidarity of the uh, main part of the hair, the brown part. Uh, the um, gray hair or white hair portion does move around, so take that into consideration when picking or moving uh, the head sculpt around so that we you know worry about uh, moving and breaking those but uh, I like the regular portrait I don't believe this is an exclusive or fail I know they say that I say that a lot in these videos but you know if you aren't gonna get the exclusive and go with the regular version it's not uh, it's not that bad but for the cost difference of what you get for the regular and the exclusive I think it's just better to go with the exclusive because it's not that much more money um, and it's just nice having extra portraits with these pieces you know you pay a lot of money for them you might as well have uh, as many options that you can get so I'll go ahead and throw the exclusive portrait on and like I did when I put the head on I like to just move this down a little bit make sure the hair is not resting on that causing any type of damage but the exclusive head is very nice I actually like uh, the white gray hair on the uh, front portion of the, uh, the head sculpt I like the little green bandana that she's got on too kind of breaks it up a little bit um, I believe that uh, the head sculpt on this is fully sculpted not like how it was on the regular head like it, I believe the white parts were PVC and yeah, these don't really move around uh, like they did on the regular portrait but I like the EX portrait um, I'll probably display it with the EX portrait 100% of the time may switch it out here and there because because I want to have a different look that's the you know advantage of having you know, two different head sculpts so I wanted to make a real quick note on these head sculpts too. Um, the seam is done very well and hidden on the uh, neck area there also, but I wanted to show uh, that uh, on the actual regular head sculpt, I found a little blemish that uh, almost uh, missed my eye. So hopefully you guys can see that there. I'm gonna have to contact Sideshow and possibly see about uh, getting a replacement uh, head sculpt here or I don't know if you guys can make that out, but the makeup is kind of blurred. It also, or not blurred, but it looks like it's got like a paint blemish, and it also looks like it could be kind of cracked up there. But I'm normally not too nitpicky, but that kind of bothers me. So just wanted to show you guys that. But uh, yeah, I think this piece came out uh, very good. I'm happy that I stuck with the the order and didn't cancel it 
anybody on the fence about picking this up, I definitely recommend doing so. So um, I'm gonna give this piece a rating uh, at a one out of 10, a 9.5. So the execution is, is, is really good. The paint is awesome. Uh, the mixed media on the jacket is really, really good. And just overall, it's just a very fantastic piece. Uh, I've always been a fan of Rogue. I know a lot of people have been as well. Been looking and waiting for a uh, nice licensed piece to come out, and uh, this one spoke to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures, uh, close up, so you guys can get the, the gist of uh, the details up close and personal. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with any of your other collecting friends people that you may think that may like this and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.